So today we're going to be doing the spool racer experiment. What you're going to need is a pencil, a rubber band, a thin rubber band, a wooden spool, some tape, two wooden toothpicks, and two metal washers, one large and one small. So what we want to do first is break off the wooden toothpick so it's just before the edge of the spool. So it's just smaller than the diameter of the wooden spool. Okay, and now what I wanna do is tie the rubber band around the toothpick. So we're gonna put the toothpick in the middle and then we're gonna pass one end of the rubber band over the toothpick and under the other end. And then we're gonna pull tight. So now what you want to do is just feed the end of the rubber band through the wooden spool using the toothpick to push the rubber band through the hole in the middle. Okay, so now that I've done that, I am going to secure this end of the wooden spool using my tape. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the metal washer sorry, the large metal washer first over the end of the rubber band and then the small metal washer. And then I'm going to feed the pencil through the rubber band like so. And that's it, that's your spool racer. And what you wanna do later is just wind up the spool racer like this. And then you'll set it on the ground and watch it roll. So the science of what's happening here is that when you twist the rubber band, you're stretching the rubber band and storing potential energy, which is energy that can do work at some future time. So the more you twist the rubber band, the more potential energy it has. As the rubber band in unwinds, the potential energy changes into kinetic energy, which is the energy of a moving object, which makes the spool turn and move forward. Um, so you can provide some real world examples of potential and kinetic energy, like how a diver on a diving board, right before he, they dive off, um, they have potential energy, and that's turned into kinetic energy once they dive off. 